This video is to go over how to find the spud date for a well on the North Dakota Oil and Gas Division's website. There are two options. One will be utilizing the GIS map server, which is available to anyone on our website. The second would be through our basic or premium subscription services. Basic services is $50 a year. Premium services is $175 per year. So going over the first option, you've got the GIS map server. By visiting dmr.nd.gov slash oil and gas, you'll look at the left-hand navigation and you're going to click on your GIS map server. In order to find the spud date using the GIS map server, you are going to want the section township and range for the well or the well name. You don't need both, but one or the other is what you will need. So using just the well name on the left-hand side of the ARC IMS viewer, which will open up in a new window, you're gonna click on find well. This will open a search option down at the bottom where you can type in um, any or all of a portion of a well name that you're interested in. After you type that in, click search and either several options or just one option might show up depending on what you've typed in and click on the well that applies to what you're looking for. When you click on that well name, the map should zoom in and highlight in green where this well is located um, and then the name of the well itself. If you wanna zoom in on this to see it a little better, on the left hand side where it says zoom in, just make sure that that's yellow and then just click on where that Barnstormer Federal Well is located, maybe once or twice to get it as close as where you feel um, it's close enough for what you're, what you're working on. In order to find the spud date in the GIS map server, now on the left-hand side, you're gonna click on Rect Identify. Rect Identify is a nice tool where you can draw boxes around the information that you wanna find more details out. So we're just gonna click on Rect Identify, and then we're just gonna draw a box around this well. By doing that, you'll see that more information has shown up down here at the bottom in this wells viewer. So you've got the file number, API, operator, well name, total depth of well, the spud date, November 8th, 2011, field name, location details, well type, status of the well, symbol, and then API as well. Make sure when you do with the rect identify that you're identifying specifically the information that you want to by looking over here on the right hand side and making sure that wells has the little black circle in it. Um, if you draw a box and you've got, let's say, rig location checked, then that, that well information down below will not populate. So you are gonna wanna make sure that you check, on, check the well box um, and then also make sure that the little radio dial is checked next to wells as well. Draw that box around using rect identify and then that's when the information is gonna show up down below. The section, second option for finding the spud date would be using the basic services or premium services. Um, it's gonna be the same for both of them. So I'll just go into the basic services. Here, you're gonna use the scout ticket data. So on the left-hand side, you'll click scout ticket data. And then the information that you would need is the file number or the API number of the well. So in this case, we'll enter in our file number and the scout ticket data will show up. There's a lot of information here, but if you comb through it, you'll see that spud date is listed November 8th, 2011, right in that location. You can also use the basic services to get the well file. Within the scout ticket, you can just click get well file or on basic services, you can also just click on the well file button. The well file itself does contain a lot of documents related to the well, the APD, um, any other forms that have been submitted. Specific here, what you're gonna be looking for is the form six, which there should be bookmarks on these pages and the form six is likely bookmarked. So you'd find that form six document, kind of comb through that form six document where there you'd see that spud date also submitted, November 8th, 2011. And that's how you find the spud date on the North Dakota Oil and Gas Division's website at dmr.nd.gov slash oil and gas.